Hello and welcome to Scatterbrook Farm. My name is Eddie and this is my vlog and today we're going to have a quick look around here first because as you can see, uh, wow. So this was uh, a silage pit that we weren't using on the farm. Uh, it's a perfect area for us to, uh, to build our new barn. And, uh, and yes, yeah, so the, uh, the signage pit is down. There's lots and lots of debris here that they're still cleaning up. Um, they've done most of it. They've brought this, uh, this, I think this is an Eastern European trailer in, looking at this. So I don't know where they picked that up, but, um, yeah, they're, uh, they're currently, uh, filling this up. They're, um, they've, they've popped off for lunch, I think. Uh, which is why I get to, to have a walk around here while they've popped out. But yeah, so, uh, it's down. So soon, um, we're going to get the concrete laid around here. Uh, so concrete will get laid around here. And then we'll start getting the frame up for the new barn. Should fit in here rather nicely. Uh, the entrance to it, uh, I should say the entrance to it, it's going to back onto this shed here. So this shed, which is where all of our, uh, seeds and everything are stored. Uh, this will be the back of the barn here, and, uh, and the barn should come up to, I think it's going to come up to about here-ish, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, and it should, uh, it should do brilliantly. Should be, uh, absolutely great for us. But, yeah, we need to get the, they'll, they need to get this stuff cleared, uh, and then the next set of equipment will come in, and, uh, we'll get the concrete laid, and the frame up, and, uh, and, yeah, hopefully, by the end of the summer... Uh, by the time we get into the potatoes, uh, this will all be up and ready and uh, and and ready for us to store our, um, our tractors and stuff in. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm really excited. Good progress on the barn. Uh, so I want to give you guys an update of that. Um, our job for today, though, uh, is uh, with the uh, Fiat here. Uh, I I understand from a few comments in the description. Uh, Oh, in the in the in the um, comments in the description. See, I don't know. BF handles all of the stuff on the channel, and I I <laughs> I don't know these terms. Comments in the comments section, uh, I should say. Uh, say that I called this uh, this beautiful piece of equipment a fent last time. So I can only apologise to you guys for that. Um, I misspoke. I complete slip of the tongue. I have no idea why I called my absolutely beautiful fiat here a fan but uh i will try and avoid doing that today uh we are gonna get our pigs sorted they've been a bit mucky so we're gonna clean up their feeding area they need pretty much everything today so uh we're gonna get the forks on after that and then we've got the, the fronts to change and get a uh a bale in a bale of straw in for them as well and we need to go and hook up to the uh the water bowser over there as well so, uh, let's get started. Start her up. Start up our, our Fiat. Get this cleaned. There we go. Nice and easy. And all done. So, that into that. Uh, right, so we're going to switch over now. We don't need uh, we don't need anything else. There, we uh, just need to drop our bucket off, like so. Right, so they need some food, so we're going to top up that food, uh, and they need some uh, they need some straw, and they need some water. So we're going to when we uh, get the water, what we're going to do is we're going to drop our weight off the back. Uh, the way we positioned the water trailer now uh, is that uh, we basically have to go and fill it up every so often. But uh, we just hook a tractor up and pump out some water into their water trough. Uh, there is a system that you can install that uh, basically does it from the tap or from the uh, the water system. But we'd have to we'd have to get that installed. We'd have to, to dig up everything. We're doing enough digging up here already. Let's just check. We've got our. Yeah. Flat, because we don't want to catch the bale stack and send the bales over. So we need to go and switch over the, uh, the front of this in a minute. Too low. There 
Yeah, there we go. There we are. Not wonderfully on there, but there we go. Right, let's go empty this out. I uh, just want to... We do have a release on here, but I just want to sort out the release on the underside of that. There we are. Right, and let's get the pigs fed. There we go, pig food going in. That'll fill them up rather nicely. So taking all of that, uh, so we get another one. Make sure that we're good for a couple of days. Uh, and keep our pigs nice and happy. It is quite tight in here. I'm considering um, building another bit. The fire damage, of course, we still have in here. Uh, we'll never truly get rid of that on here. Well, I mean, it's basically just everything's charred. Uh, there we go. Yeah, and second one. I don't know if they will take all of this bag. But we will go and uh, loose the strings and everything. And there we go. Right, and get this one done. Yeah, there we go. They're taking a load of that as well. Wow, they've taken all of that too. Uh, we will leave that there. That should be enough. Two bags worth should be enough to feed them. I'm very much looking forward to when we uh, when we uh, get to feed them off the farm ourselves. Those pig bags cost us a lot of money, um, and uh, and hopefully soon we will just be able to feed them off the farm itself. Right. So I am going to put this put this just inside our barn here as always and uh, yeah we'll get the uh, bell spikes on this here turn that off get our toolbox out this bell spike is oh this uh, this legal setup is great but uh, yeah Having to change over is is a bit of a chore. Right, I will get this changed over, and uh, and we'll be back in a moment. There we go. Bell spikes are in, so we will put the uh, bit back. So there's two. Uh, it's quite interesting. There's uh, there's a sort of a bell fork and bell spike. I find the triple bell spikes here uh, the easier ones to work with. So uh, that's why I use that one. Uh, but we'll just hook them back up. So we'll. Them on. There we go. Right, let's go get a bale and give it a little our pigs. So we can just take, uh, we, we basically take the bales, uh, the bale up to the side and uh, and then we pull it apart ourselves rather than uh, needing a blower or anything like that. Uh, again, we've got to get in here and get around this here. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to move my bale trailer and put this stuff at the far end. Or find a better place to store this stuff. Uh, because it does... It's quite difficult to get in here. Especially with this tractor. I don't know if the, the John Deere would be a little bit uh, smaller and easier to get in. But uh, it's not too bad. I mean, we, we put the bales in here with this tractor. Uh, and we can get them out with it. It's not that difficult. But you can see it's really solidly on here. Uh, but it is just this manoeuvring. If we had anything else in that section of the shed, we wouldn't be able to do that. Right, so reverse it out. Take the bale over. I don't know where the best place for me to do this is. Whether it's over here or it might be over here. Put that in there, and uh, we'll pull that apart later. Oops. No, 
let's uh, let's open this up and I'll go in there and I'll pull this apart in a bit. Easier to open. There we go. So in with this. I'll just plug it in the middle. Uh, they will start to try and eat it, but uh, I'll go in and pull that apart in a little bit, as I mentioned. So now we just need to drop our weight off the back. That will, uh, that's actually almost it for us for today. Not a lot to do. Uh, summertime is one of those times where we're doing lots of spraying. And I'm very aware that in my blog, uh, vlog recently we've been doing a lot of spraying. But I want to keep you guys uh, up to date on what's happening with the. Uh, with the bar construction. So uh, a lot of our summer time uh, vlogs will be that, uh, will be us uh, keeping up with the barn and, uh, and what's going on. Pigs are not producing a huge amount of uh, slurry, as you can see. Not a huge problem because we're not, we, I, uh, as you guys know from, uh, from my series on Balling Craig, I prefer to, uh, I prefer to put slurry on. Uh, oh, we really need to hook up. There we go. Right. There we go. And out. As you can see from the indicator, we have a good amount in here, uh, and this will uh, this will fill them up for a bit. There we go. That's all turned off. Attach the PTO. There we go. And then detach the trailer. And uh, go and put this away. Actually, we need to go and put the bail spike away first. So, uh, that's it. It's, uh, yeah, fairly short vlog today. Uh, so, my apologies for that. But, uh, in general, uh, we're doing well. We're making good progress. The builders are making good progress. Uh, we're likely in the near future to uh, get some more work from uh, our friends up at uh, up at the farm on, on the hill at the top of the hill uh, and uh, and yeah so I will keep you guys up to down that it was very nice uh, a little while yeah, it was a little while ago now um, to get out and uh, and get behind a forage harvester down here uh, that was quite nice uh, but that's it for today, really. So I'm just going to park the tractor up. Not much work to do around here. Uh, I need to go and check on crops and field statuses and things. I have a little little bit of a rearrangement in uh, in the shed. Because uh, things were, were kind of in the way a bit. And this has actually opened a lot, up a lot more space. But we're not going to we're not going to be using this shed much longer for uh, tractors and things, of course. This is going to be for potato storage soon. Uh... But for now, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.